Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Korea and Lean Teach and today's video is going to be all about subtraction. Specifically this video is going to be looking at using concrete materials and pictures to help teach subtraction. So if you think that is something that you're going to find useful then keep on watching. So today we're looking at subtraction using concrete materials. So today I'm just looking at a very simple subtraction, 9 take away 6 equals. So whenever I'm teaching addition or subtraction I always ask the children that I'm working with to read out the number sentence or the calculation just so that I know that they know what all the numbers are and that they know what the symbols mean as well because quite often they get confused between addition and subtraction. So I always ask them to read it out. So as I said before, we've got the calculation 9 take away 6 equals. So what we're going to do is I'm going to ask them to figure out what number we're going to start with in our calculation. So we're obviously going to start with the biggest number and obviously that's always going to be the first number in the calculation. So I would ask them to count out nine objects. So today I'm going to be using counters. You can use things like buttons, cubes, even things like pasta, things you can find around the house or around your classroom. So we're going to count out nine objects as that's the biggest number. That's the number we're starting with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I usually always get the children to check that they do actually have the correct number they're starting with, making sure that they're touching each object as they count it so they've not missed anything. Then we're, um, we're going to do the take away part. So take away six. So I usually try and emphasise the words take away. So that's usually what we start with rather than the word subtract take away because they seem to understand that better and actually basically say you're physically going to take away six objects so then I'll ask them to take away six counters so one two three four five six and then I'm going to ask your children to count how many objects you have left one two three and then that is our answer so then we can write in the answer at the end of the number sentence to show that we know their answer and again I'd be getting them to double check that they've got the right amount and that they're counting their, um, their answer correctly. So if you don't have any concrete materials like cubes or counters or anything around your classroom or around the house that you could use to um, help with subtraction, don't worry, you can actually draw pictures to help with it. So what we're going to do is look at the simple subtraction, 10 take away 4 equals. So again, I'll be talking to the children about what number we're starting with, that in a subtraction it's always going to be the biggest number, which is always going to be the first number in the calculation. And instead of counting out 10 objects, we're going to draw 10 things. So this time I'm just going to draw 10 circles. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And again I'll be getting your children to check that they do actually have the correct number to begin with so that then the full calculation is then going to be correct, making sure that each time they count the object that they are touching it so that they're not missing anything out. Then we're going to talk again about taking four away. So we're actually going to physically take four away. But instead of this time taking the counters away, we're actually just going to cross out the pictures to take away. So for take away four, we're going to cross out four of our circles. One, two, three, four. And then to get our answer, the children would then count how many objects or circles that they have left that aren't crossed out. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six would be our answer. So then the children can then write number six at the end of the calculation to show their answer. Now, to introduce a little bit more challenge when you're teaching subtraction, um, you could actually use flashcards like the ones I've got here. Now these flashcards I have here are actually available at my TPT store, so I'll leave the link down below. But you could also just make your own flashcards, just use pieces of card, pieces of paper, and just write numbers on them. Now, what I would ask the children to do is pick two flashcards, two numbers to work with, to do their subtraction. So I'm going to pick the number eight and the number three. So then I'm going to get rid of all the other cards, and then, Obviously, you need to think about, ask children to think about which way around the numbers go for it being a subtraction. So, obviously, we need to discuss, you know, if we have it around this way, three take away eight, is that going to work? And then, obviously, hopefully, they'll come to the conclusion that they have to put the biggest number first. So then it becomes eight take away three. 
So that's a really good way to kind of talk about what order the numbers go in to make sure that um, our calculation works out right. And then again, you can just use either concrete materials like counters like I've got here. And again, you could also even use pictures as well, but I'm going to use concrete materials to do eight take away three. So we need to count out eight objects. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Obviously asking the ch children to check that they do indeed have eight there. And then we're going to take away three. So we'll, we'll physically take away three. One, two, three. And then we'll ask the children to count how many they've got left. One, two, three, four, five. So then we know that that's our answer, that we have five left. So I hope you really enjoyed this video today. I hope you found it really useful. If you'd like to see any other teaching related videos, then make sure and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.